So far, Elite UK have been searching the country to find Britain's best new modelling talent. It's a mission. We can't go and just, you know, be happy with what we have found up to now and semi-final is approaching. From casting calls at shopping centres to searching summer festivals, Elite scouts Leah and Martina have been trying to find the new faces they feel have a chance at making the Elite Model Look UK final. Now it's the moment of truth. The semi-final is a very, very important stage. It's when we gather all our talents of each region and we do a very, very difficult selection, scrutinizing all their aspects. Today is extremely important. This is the day where we see where we stand. The pressure is not only on the contestants, but also on the calibre of the discoveries made by the scouting team. Their work will be judged by Elite Paris and its international director, Victoria de Silva. There's always risk of showing a girl that you're absolutely crazy about and Paris going, I don't get it. What we think is beautiful isn't necessarily what maybe someone from Elite Paris thinks is beautiful. It's clear to me that they did a very great job. They are beautiful girls. I'm very, quite surprised. Yeah, start from here and then go all the way down. And back. And back. Well, Leah and Martina have definitely delivered. It's going to be a difficult judgment to decide which one is the best. But I think because of the great quality, we're going to find a fantastic winner. It's crunch time. The judges must now decide which girls will make up the 12 finalists of Elite Model Look UK. I love this girl. Love yeah. the personality. It's uh, always a bit of a battle because obviously we have different eyes and we're looking at different market and we're looking at different elements. So she should be in the final. But we, if it's we, not possible, You're, the group has to be homogeneous. Yeah, but do you see my point of not letting her through because of her height? No. I mean, no. no because there will be a fight and, you know, it's about being consistent and supporting that talent all the way. The most oh. difficult, I think, this year, it will be to choose only one um. winner. For many of the contestants, the journey will end here. Sometimes we let go people that can have incredible talent, but they are not right at that specific stage in time. But for 12 lucky girls, they will move one step closer to fulfilling their modeling dream. First one to go through to the elite model final, Grace Anderson. <laughs> Rebecca Walton. There was quite a few Rebeccas, so when I first heard my Michelangelo say Rebecca, I thought, oh, it's not me. And then he said W, I was like, ah! Oh. Yeah, I was really excited to hear my name. She Thompson Blake. I was a bit scared, but I didn't really think I would get through. So when I did, it was an even bigger shock, and I was like, really happy. So, because I did want to get through, I just didn't think I would, but it was great. Julian Matthew. There were a couple of girls that got through today, which I was super excited about because I'd personally scouted them. So it's really nice from, from a personal level to see their journey. It's, it's really exciting for me. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to be part of something this big. It's just going to be an amazing experience. I'm really lucky. In three months' time, one of these girls will represent their country at the Elite Model Look World Final in China. All the countries are competing and uh, it's hard, but I'm quite sure that we will have an English girl in the top 15 this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you. The standard is 10 times better than last year. Uh, the girls are fantastic, they've got great personalities, they stand really well for themselves. We are spectators of the new future generation of supermodels.